Oh, yes. My relationship to the word mom. That's a big question. Um, and so at this point, um, I just thought we're not even at the point where we could, this baby's viable. There's like a 90 some percent chance, a 95, 96, 97, that your baby is just going to um, die or be severely impaired. When you get news like that, it, it was like the beginning of just um, on that day feeling just completely destroyed. Here we're faced with this. There, there's not that many moments in your life where you're just like, my whole course of my life could be different than I thought. I didn't know like if I was strong enough to help a child um, through their death journey, but also the opposite, to, you know, to help a child who had these severe neuro neurodevelopmental impairments. And I, you know, I was, I was terrified for me and I didn't, I didn't know if that was what was best for her. The truth is complicated and complex, but all of society's messaging has been a very simple message. For me, that's where the, the challenge comes up is like, what is the developmentally appropriate way to provide information to my child that aligns with my moral and ethical viewpoint about how our household should be an inclusive place. Even though I feel like I've always theoretically wanted kids, I mean, like, in even in, like, you know, relationships, um, but it wasn't a driving force for me ever. At, like, it was like, yeah, I think that'll happen to me at some point. Like, <laughs> that will be a part of my identity at some point. I just don't like that there's always been so much more pressure on mothers to be this ideal. There is no such thing as super mom. You will never be ready. It's a blessing, right? It's fortune. Accept it. Receive it. Being a mom is your heart outside of your body. You know, I mean, it's. I get to, to be a part of some human's life in that role. I'll have always been that role to them. These kids are ours. Like we made these humans, and they're just sitting with us here at the table. <laughs> and if we can help people feel their worth their value as vital, vibrant voices, then, then let's do it, you know?